Good Friday morning, church family. We're glad you're with us today. Pastor, great to have you home. Hey, good to be back. If you ever go to South Asia, it takes a lot of time to get there and to get back, but it's a great, great trip. I just want to say to you all on this Friday morning, thank you for praying for us. And uh, we had some eventful days. We didn't know how it was going to work out. There are ways we didn't know if it was going to work out at all. But on this Friday morning, John Mark, I can say we, there's a song that we do about this, but God makes a way when there seems to be no way. Oh, yeah. And so thank you for praying. We had an incredible trip to South Asia, uh, Kingdom Influence. We invested in about 220 pastors, which was amazing to be able to do that. We had an open air evangelistic event that we had on a Sunday night that there were between five and 6,000 people there. Uh, I preached on the cross of Jesus that night, gave an invitation to come forward and hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds came forward and prayed in unison to give their lives to Christ. So church, thank you for praying. Thank you for investing in this trip, but many, many trips that we do around the world. This is just one in South Asia that we do many in our community, but around the world. And so uh, God is using First Baptist Church to make a kingdom difference, and we're excited about that. But it is good to be home. Thank you all, John Mark, for your ministry, keeping things going while we were gone. But praise the Lord for kingdom increase, but praise the Lord to be back on American soil as well. Amen. Well, let's talk about the week ahead. Sunday is coming, 9 a.m. is that That's our connect hour uh, to get connected to a small group Bible study. Many of you are in those. Uh, some of you are not. We'd like for you to get connected in those small group Bible studies. Uh, just come a little bit early, a little bit before nine. Come right to the steeple entrance, right to the connection center, and we will get you connected. There's something for all ages in your family uh, to get connected this week. Immediately following that is our 1030 worship hour, uh, and we have another guest this week. We do. Good news. I'll be here on Sunday Amen. morning. I'm going to be sitting in a pew, but I'll get to introduce him on Sunday morning. But Dr. Jeff Orge, who is now president of the executive committee of the Southern Baptist Convention, a significant role in our Southern Baptist family. And so it's an honor to welcome him and his wife here on Sunday morning. He's going to be preaching about a church that makes an impact and looking at several New Testament churches. Now, he's written books on this subject, so he's going to share from God's Word. It'll be a relevant word for us as a church because we want to make an impact as well. So you'll come Sunday morning in person and welcome Dr. Orge, uh, the First Baptist Church Clarksville again. I'm excited to have him in the role he's in, be here at First Baptist Church. And then those who worship with us online, you'll be able to watch the message from Dr. Randy Davis. Uh, executive director of the Tennessee Baptist Convention. He talked about Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, even about the cross of Christ there as well. Appreciate his message. I listened to it the other day. So encourage you to be in person. Encourage you to share that message online because it's relevant. And uh, the songs, everything that we do, the baptisms, incredible genre. I think we got baptisms coming up on Sunday morning as well, which we're excited about. So church, thank you again for faithfulness and giving tithes and offerings. Allows us to serve like we do keep so many other yeah. things we're doing in the life of the church happening from preschoolers, kids, students, adults, so many different ages, but it also allows us to get the gospel to the ends of the earth and the influence that happens around the world. So thank you for doing that week in and week out. We appreciate that. Uh, coming up here soon, John Mark, as we think about the history of our church, we're getting ready to celebrate 193 years of age. That's amazing. God's faithfulness those years. But we've got a week of prayer and fasting, but we also have kind of a homecoming service coming up on our October the 6th. We do. We're going to do that week of prayer and fasting September 30th mm -hmm. through the 6th. Uh, so we'll end that that Sunday morning uh, mm -hmm. in our prayer gathering uh, right before church starts. Uh, that's when we'll do that week of prayer and fasting. But we are excited about October the 6th. Mm -hmm. That is the time we've set aside to celebrate. We're going to have a meal after that's church right, that yeah. day for everybody. So folks, if you know people, you want to invite them, if they've been a part of this church at some point, we're going to actually call that, we're going old school, we're going yeah. to call that homecoming. homecoming. Yeah. So uh, that'll be our homecoming Sunday, October the six so we look forward to that when you grew up did you ever go to dinner on the ground oh, yes. type stuff that oh, was a yeah. big part of my sure my days did. growing up those are a lot of fun it'll be kind of an old-fashioned homecoming dinner on the grounds you'll hear more details about that coming up soon but we do want to celebrate god's faithfulness to first baptist Amen. church for 193 years great days some days not so good but you see god's faithfulness and steady hand through it all so we want to celebrate that coming up in october october the 6th specifically and then on october the 2nd 6 p.m this is going to be a unique service when we think about the time capsule service the time capsule from the faith building we're going to open that on that wednesday night yeah we have all those contents still in that time capsule many of those envelopes have been sealed uh from the very beginning we've not opened any of those 1953 we're going to, we're going to yeah. open those that night uh so we're not going to have choir or 
any other activities. We're going to all be in the worship yeah. service together. Uh, we'll still probably have kids and those kind of things. Yeah, maybe, maybe preschool and kids. Yeah. I've asked the students to be in there with us yeah. because as we think about what we've talked about, the vision for the faith building process, we want to bless the next generation, Amen. not burden them. We want them to see all that's going on in the life of First Baptist because many of the decisions is for them in many ways. That's going to be a lot of fun yeah. on that Wednesday night. There's been a lot of work done in a short been. period of time over there on that faith yeah. building. And that's just the continuation on the journey. So you don't want to miss that on October the 2nd to see the contents that are in that time capsule. Our ad hoc group is meeting, looking at phase two. We'll give you more details about that when they're available. And it shouldn't be too long. We also are taking steps on the parking lots. And we're still praying for the right buyer at the right time for that. So continue to pray for that. But thank you for your support, your encouragement, but also thank you for your prayers as we continue to walk through the faith building process. So on this Friday morning, it's good to be back on American Soil. It'll be good to be back to worship with you again. Looking forward to Sunday. But Spirit of the Living God. Yes, that's a song. Spirit, lead us. Please lead us. <laughs> we, need, we need your leadership. <laughs> so let's turn our hearts and minds now to Jesus and sing as we always do on Friday, Spirit of the Living God. And we pray to see all of you on Sunday. Spirit.